So I had problems with Starfield from minute one. A lot of people are having problems like this and I'm sure there are other videos similar to this, but this fix was so huge that I had to spread the word on this because I can actually play the game now and it is so great. From the moment I first launched the game, I was getting almost like lag spikes. Every minute or so, the game and audio would hitch and almost freeze for a few seconds, but then continue. I could tell it wasn't performance related and it wasn't like low FPS, it was the whole game just hitching. I should note that if your game is actually crashing, you may have a different issue. This wasn't crashing, it was just slowing down and kind of momentarily freezing at moments such as dialogue, cutscenes, combat, etc. I fixed it with a simple mod from Nexus. Now this has been an issue for many people and it's fixable by limiting the game's CPU usage with a program called Battle Encoder Sherace. But there's something else I noticed. Long story short, I thought I had the game installed on an SSD, but I didn't. I had it installed on a hard drive. I've played other games that require an SSD and they run fine. Well, anyway, my PC's performance in Starfield had me questioning that and so I checked and my computer says the drive it's installed on is indeed a hard drive. So there's this handy mod on Nexus. Now, not handy, this is a miracle mod and this allows you to play Starfield even on an HDD. So you're going to want to meet the other requirements of the game though. My PC is an i7-7700 32GB RTX 3060 Ti 8GB and this took the game from unplayable to perfectly smooth. Now the mod is Disk Cache Enabler and you can read how it works in the links provided below but it works and here's how to install it. Note that this is for the Steam version using SFSE, the Starfield Script Enabler. I didn't have SFSE or any mods yet, but I knew I would eventually want to mod the game and I would be going that route. So here's what you would want to do. First, if you're familiar with Nexus mods, you'll have Vortex. You'll want to enable Starfield and Vortex. Now, you'll want to install SFSE. It's the general mod that you're going to want anyway to run mods with scripts. And of course, installing this will mean that you will now launch Starfield from Vortex and not from Steam. Okay, so assuming that you're familiar with, say if you played Fallout 4, or Skyrim, etc., it's same thing, right? So anyway, you know, that's the kind, that's the version that I understood. It's like, oh, okay, this is just a script enabler. I run this in other Bethesda games, I run mods in. Okay, so anyway, so there's a link for it below. You just go there, go to files, download the latest version, click on download with mod manager, and Bob's your uncle. Now, follow the link I provided below to disk cache enabler. Yes, it's just a simple mod, fixed everything, at least for me, and allowed me to play smoothly on an HDD. Go to the mod, click on Files, click the option for SFSE, download the mod with Mod Manager, and that's it. Bethesda may fix this in an upcoming patch, but until that time, this takes that stress off your hard drive and uses the RAM or something. I think that's what it does. It's all a bit over my head, but it's explained pretty well on the mod page as well as the comments on it. Thanks all, and I hope this helped you as much as it did me. Note that this mod claims it can still help performance if you are playing on an SSD. Having an SSD is listed in the requirements for the game, and I was sure I was installing it on one. And I'm sure I'm not alone on that. I'm sure it's happened to other people. But as it turns out, you can play Starfield with this simple mod installed regardless of whether you have an SSD or not. Thanks a lot all. I hope to have some Starfield content coming soon on this channel. Now that I can finally play it, I played a few hours dealing with that that screen hitching until I finally figured this out. And uh, well, anyway, thanks all. Let me know what you think in the comments below if this worked for you or other fixes you may have used. I've seen a lot of people on the internet have had this problem and this simple mod really did fix it all. Thanks a lot, guys.